What do you think it takes to make hundreds of thousands of dollars on a print-on-demand store? Some people would say that you need a fantastic marketing strategy. Whether you're using Facebook ads, Pinterest ads, or even Snapchat ads, of course, you need to be good at marketing your products to actually make sales. Some people would also say that things like your niche choices and your product choices and even the designs that you're making also need to be amazing. Of course, if you don't have things that people actually want to buy, then you won't make sales. And even more people say that your store and the brand of it need to be flawless so that way when people visit the store they feel comfortable spending their money there. Now over the last eight months or so, actually 2022 in total, my store has done over $200,000 in sales. If you want to check out this video here, I detail the entire process. And if you ask me, all three of those things that I just discussed are super important when it comes to making sales with a print-on-demand store. Now because this is YouTube, I'm not going to be revealing my store. I typically don't show things that I'm actively working on, but instead what we're going to do is take Take a look at a print-on-demand store that has done over a million dollars in sales. We'll break down their marketing strategy, we'll take a look at the products they are selling, the niches they have chosen, and the designs they have made, and then we'll do an in-depth review of their store so you can see what a million dollar print-on-demand store looks like. Hopefully that sounds good. If it does, make sure to drop a like on the video for good luck. And if you want to see some of the strategies that I've used to scale my own print-on-demand stores, make sure to check out some some of my other videos here on the channel. I upload tons of print-on-demand content consistently here on YouTube, and if you want some more in-depth content showing you how to actually start your print-on-demand store and get started with Facebook ads, make sure to check out my step-by-step -step course. There is over 20 step-by-step -step videos showing you how to start your store. The link is down in the description, and the best part is it is completely free. So here is the store here. It is called tailoredcanvases.com. I wanna kind of scroll through the store here, let you see it and see exactly what it is they're doing. And then after we break a few things down, we'll take a look at all of their marketing, their Facebook ads, their Instagram page, and more. One interesting thing that I did find with this store is they're actually running several different Facebook pages under multiple names. So we'll take a look at that as well. So obviously here on the homepage, they have built a really solid, looking brand. You can see a lot of really awesome product images. There's also a pretty good color scheme. You can see the color orange repeated throughout the homepage here. If we continue to scroll down, there's even more awesome product images. They have social proof towards the bottom of the page with their reviews. And overall, they've got a really cohesive homepage. One of the things that they've done really well is they've made themselves appear as an expert in the product that they are selling. This is called a product-focused store where they're only selling canvases but they're doing it to multiple niches. In addition to doing something like that, you could create yourself a niche store where you sell multiple different product types to the same niche and you could also create some sort of a general store where you're sort of just selling any product to any niche. Regardless though, you want to make sure you are building a nice looking store and overall, like I said, this store is awesome. It looks really professional, it looks trustworthy, and it's definitely a place where people are willing to spend some money. You can see here right on the store, they have over 11,000 reviews from their customers. One thing that this store has done really well is they've brought a human element into their store. What I mean is right here on the homepage, you can see that there is a note from the CEO of the store. Now, I don't really know what that's all about. I don't really know how official that is, but regardless, this really brings a human element to the store. It makes it personal with the actual CEO of it in an attempt to actually connect with the customer. Essentially what they're doing with their product is choosing a niche like farmhouse or people that like horses and they're creating a tasteful design and then allowing people to personalize it. So you can see here on the product page someone could enter any name that they want. They could also enter a location here and the date in which the farm in this case was established. Basically allowing them to create a really awesome product to display in their home. And you can see as we scroll through the different products that they are offering, they've done this with lots of different niches. We have farmhouse, we have coffee, we have dogs, we have bar and grill, we have cattle, we have just typical lake house signs, patio signs, gym signs, and a whole 
bunch more. Overall, they've done a fantastic job creating products for niches that are passionate enough to buy print-on-demand products online. Before I show you all of their Facebook ads and all of the different Facebook pages that this store is running under different names, I wanted to show you their Instagram account here. You can see that they have been able to grow it to over 17,000 followers. Basically what they do is they post videos of their customers opening their products, which is a really awesome way to market your stuff. Now, obviously, getting people to do this can be a difficult thing. I would imagine that these customers are receiving some sort of a follow-up email from this business to film themselves opening the canvas in exchange for some sort of a discount. Here you can see, as I've been scrolling through, there is literally dozens of different videos sent to this company from their customers. This is a great way to market your products because not only can you share these on your social media pages like this, but you can also use them as an ad. And that's exactly what this store has done. Here is one of their Facebook pages. Now, as I was researching to do this video, I stumbled across, I think, five or six different Facebook pages that are owned by this store. We have one here called Tailored Canvases. We have another one here called TailoredCanvases.com. We have another one here called Faith Over Fear. The page is actually pretty blank, but you can see if we go into the ads library here, it is actually running Facebook ads linking to the Tailored Canvases store. We have another Facebook page here called I Love Cattle, and same thing, if we go into the Facebook ads library, this page is also running ads linking to the Tailored Canvases store. And then there is one more here called Specialty Canvas Art. You can see that they are just starting to put this page together. It says yesterday uh, they uploaded their first photo and it has just a couple of hundred followers. So this does seem like a new page. They are also running ads that are linking to the tailored canvas store, which you can see right here. Honestly, I'm not really sure why they are doing this. I think maybe what they are doing is creating multiple ad accounts with different Facebook pages so that way they can run ads safely and not have to worry about being banned by Facebook. But I guess that could be a discussion for another video. If you wanted me to make some content about avoiding Facebook ad bans, maybe I could, let me know down in the comments. This right here does seem to be their main Facebook page. You can see they have about 17,000 people that like this page, and you can see as we scroll through it, they are basically doing what they were doing on Instagram, posting lots of different images. They also have some social proof videos like this here from their customers, and as you continue to scroll through, they are very active in sharing all of these images and videos that they're getting from their customers. In terms of Facebook ads, this store is also scaling a lot of different products. Basically, every one of their Facebook pages is running ads to their store. And you can see on their main page here that they are promoting a few different products. It is pretty easy to assume that they are likely making some sales on these because you can see the date of these that they started on May 17th. As I'm making this video, it is August 3rd, which means that they've been running for about three months. One of the ways that I can tell this store did over a million dollars is because on their ads, they're saying over 50,000 happy customers. And if you do the math on that, their average product costs about $59.99. If you do the math on that, it's well over a million bucks. And they've done this because not only have they built a fantastic looking store, they have awesome products that are being sold to passionate niches that are willing to buy print on demand products online. And they also have a really great social media marketing strategy, both on Instagram and on Facebook. They've nailed both the organic aspect where they're just posting consistent content, showcasing the things that they sell, and they've also gone all in on paid traffic, which in my opinion is the key to being successful with print on demand. At the beginning of this video, I talked about how my store has just crossed over $200,000 in sales. And like I said, make sure to check out some of my other videos. I go into depth on a lot of the strategies that I'm currently using. I also have a step-by-step -step course. 
The link is down in the description. It is completely free for you to get started. Inside, there's over 20 step-by-step -step videos that will show you the process to actually start your store. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. If you wanna see more print-on-demand stores like this, let me know down in the comments. I spend a lot of time every day doing some research and trying to discover print-on-demand stores that are doing a great job, and I have a lot of different stores that I could show you in videos like this. So if you wanna see that, make sure to drop a like on this video so that way I know that you enjoy this content. And then in the comments below, let me know which types of videos you want me to make. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.